welcome to a new video king kobe here now in today's video we are going to look at the various crossfader modes that we have in virtual dj right but before we get into the video i'll kindly entreat anyone that hasn't subscribed to my youtube channel to do it asap and then don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you'll be notified anytime i drop a new video and my gratitude to my subscribers and then my returning subscribers who always come to my channel to educate yourself on virtual dj i appreciate your support very much and i can't take it lightly all right let's go into the business of today so today we are going to look at the various crossfade modes in virtual dj all right and to do that we will go to settings and then from here i'll just search crossfader all right immediately i type cross i will have it here i already have some songs loaded i will loop them so i will use the eight um, bar loop both on both tracks right okay so by default the first crossfader mode or the crossfader curve is at full right so we are going to test that one out to see how that one works right so i have let me lower the volume a little bit put them in the middle so that yeah i wouldn't uh, be a distraction that much all right so i play this one from deck a Okay, so I have this one playing like this, and then I'll play this one as well. Okay, so a little um, adjustment on the sync. All right, so I have them synced up nicely, and then this is the full crossfader mode. So let's see. So you can hear the transition stepping in little by little. I hope you can hear that so as this one comes in the other one also fades out you get it so that is the first one and let's look at the second one the second one is the smooth mode or the smooth cap now let's look at how the smooth cap also works so you can hear that even though I've pushed it forward significantly you still can't hear the other track right so till we are halfway into the side the other side that's where you start hearing it little by little you hear the other side little by little so we are in the middle that way and we have even we have the sound even right both sides are even and then we now go the other side so immediately we switch the other side you can now hear the other side more than the side that we're coming from right and then so when we are halfway also into the other side you cannot hear the other side as well you get it so we have just the other side the side a um, louder now and there is the other one that's a scratch so for scratch just a little move here and then you are hearing the other one full mode so this mode is is basically for scratching right for the scratch dj so i don't have to pull all the way to the middle or all the way halfway before i can hear the other side right just a little and then the other side is all up 100 percent i hope you are getting what i'm trying to say right so if i'm here right and then i just shift a little here yes you can hear that i can hear both sounds right so if it is in the middle it doesn't do anything you get it see so i am full to the right or i am full to the left that is where you hear only one side but immediately a little shift into it i can hear the other side fully 100 percent right and there is the last mode that is the cut now this is how the cut works so you can see that for the cut to no matter how i move right into the other side it still doesn't do anything but immediately i switch to the other side it cuts the other one off so this is also for the i mean the drop and play or the cut and play kind of style right so it can be in the middle and all the sound ceases if it is perfectly in the middle you don't hear any of the side i just have to shift it a little either to the left 
or to the right to hear the other sound so from um, let me see from um, 100% up to a 99 will have the side B audible whilst from um, 49 to 0 will also have side A um, loud and audible right but if it is perfectly in the middle you don't get to hear any of the side so this is in the middle 50 percent and you don't hear any of the side it's kind of neutral so it means that all of the sounds are mute so you are in the neutral field you are, you are in the in, you are in the middle so you don't know which one to play you get it but immediately a little shift to the right play side b and then a lift a little shift to the left play side a so that is the various uh, i'll stop them here so that is the various crossfade modes that we have right so we have the full the smooth the scratch and the cut there is also a custom mode that you can set for yourself but that would be for another video another day right so let me know your favorites in the comment section the one that works for you or the one that best fits for you but i think it depends on the kind of mode that you want to play right if you are in the scratch mode then i suggest you use the the scratch called crossfader curve if you are the smooth transition kind of thing or your set is more kind of a calm atmosphere you can either use a full or the the smooth and if you are in the i mean the hyper mode then the cuts is perfect for your session right so as i said just play around them and then know the one that works best for you so that will be it for today's video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done that and don't forget to also turn on your notifications so that you'll be notified anytime i drop a new video the name is token kobe and i'll come here with another video but till then stay safe